Hey guys, Adam Fennig here, Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today we're in the shop and I've got a brand new, freshly built Salford 2200 sitting right here behind me. It's got the 22 inch blade and this one has got the 15 inch hydraulic switchblade shank kit on it. I wanna dive deep into this tool and talk about the recent success we've had with it and why. And I also wanna talk about some of the differences if you're running a different colored machine today that you might see with the Salford tool and why you need to consider switching to the 2200. So as we zoom out on this tool from an airplane's view, you know, we've got like usual, the independent spring coil and most of uh, everyone I believe understands what this thing does, but it basically is rolled steel coiled up into a spring. So at the bottom of that spring is a blade. And the whole idea here is that every blade has got its own cushion independently. So when this blade raises a little bit or receives less or more pressure pushing up from the ground, it does not affect this blade. And when that blade pushes up or down, it does not affect this blade. Another thing that does is it takes all of the weight of this tool and it perfectly evenly distributes that to the blades. Uh, versus a gang machine, if one side of the gang, which is six feet long, receives more or less up pressure, it is going to affect the blade on this end and it does not evenly distribute your weight. So a very big benefit of this spring coil is a couple things. Evenly distributed weight from the frame to the blade. Uh, another thing is, is how easy these things are to change blades. You get on a creeper and zigzag through there it's got five bolts. The bolts stay in the hub, so the nuts are on the inside. There you can see the nuts. And you just simply slide that blade off, put a new one on, and tighten them back up. With a couple of guys, you could change blades on this 24-footer in a couple hours pretty easy, and it would be extremely uh, painless and easy to do. Uh, on a gang machine, that would take you uh, probably about a day, and it would be a lot of, uh, there'd be a torch sitting here, there'd be some giant impacts. Here all we need is a half inch uh, impact with a three quarter socket, three quarter inch wrench, and uh, just a little bit of time. Pretty easy. So when it comes to maintenance of this 2200, it's, it's super simple. When it comes to uh, how this tool runs through the field, if you ever watch a Salford run through the field, uh, I have done it before. You could set a water bottle on this frame or an apple and run to the other end of the field and it will still be there when you get back. That is because this frame hardly moves because it has all these springs underneath it acting as a cushion effect. So if this blade comes up, it's not going to raise this wing because it's got its spring mechanism built in here. This frame will run super dead smooth and level. And that is because again, all of these coiled up springs mounted to the frame and then have got the blade on the bottom. So as we're going through the field, all of these springs, all of these blades are constantly at a hundred times, thousands of times a minute sitting there just going up and down, up and down. And that's what creates our fracturing effect that you always hear me talk about whenever we're digging in the field. That is what pushes all of that energy and that's another reason of this spring is we want to add weights to the frame. We want the weight of the frame. We want the speed of the tool to put energy into this spring. That energy then gets released down into the ground by the blade and it's punching down into the ground like a jackhammer. And then the ground is just constantly shattering apart as this thing goes through it. So that's kind of the design and the premise of the whole uh, Salford coil. I know we talk about these Salfords a lot, but uh, educating everyone on what makes them different, why we have springs um, independently on every blade, and why that is true vertical tillage 
is a big deal and something that, that really needs explained. So from there, every Salford you're gonna run into has got these awesome drag harrows. It's a, it's a really tall tined, maximizes residue flow. We can relax these in high residue content. We can tighten them up like what they are right now. And it is amazing how good of a job these things do. They're on this parallel linkage arm. Our rolling basket is on this big spring-loaded arm. It's got rubber torsion cushions down in here. 14 inch heavy duty basket with uh, very long lasting bearings, um, very well made. Now, this one also has got a feature I have grown to really love, and that is this hydraulic adjust harrow option. You can adjust that on the fly if you get into heavy residue or lighter residue scenarios. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is the hydraulic shank feature. Uh, you've heard me talk about that a lot and it's really revolutionizing the tillage game because of what we can now do with a tool that was once just called a seed bed prep machine uh, is now replacing some chisels in the fall. This one's got them on 15 inch centers so there's a row in the front, there's a row in the back. Each row is controlled with these levers right here. So right now they're both off. Right now I'm on 30 inch shanks. Right now I'm on 15 inch shanks. What I do is I engage my hydraulic SCV up here at the tractor into constant flow. I turn my dial to whatever PSI I want. Usually I'm running about 1100 PSI. And that PSI is put down on this hydraulic cylinder to keep that shank down in the ground. And uh, the, the type of finish, the type of fracturing that we see with that chisel point is unbelievable. You run that thing in bean ground in the fall, one pass, you break up that compaction, leaves it nice and plantable uh, for in the spring. So we now have a tool that can be a spring seed bed prep, but it can be a tool that can put some power into the ground too with those chisels. So. A lot going on here, a lot to talk about with the Salford 2200. There is our hydraulic harrow adjustment indicator. Here is our depth indicator. Um, very easy to use tools. Uh, just simply unfold, raise and lower. You've got your hydraulic uh, tilt on the back um, and then your hydraulic shanks. So you've got fold, hydraulic shanks, raise and lower, and hydraulic uh, harrows in the back. So only four hydraulic hoses required on this tool and uh, very simple to use. So that's what we're doing today, diving into the Salford 2200 and educating everyone on why your neighbor's running one, what they're doing with it, and why you need one on your farm as well. So give us a call today. I would love to talk you through all of the Salford models. We've got the 1100, the 1200, the 22, the 42, the 52, the Halo lineup, and several others. So give us a call today, and thank you for tuning in.